Feline pandacopenia, also known as feline parvoviral enteritis. It is caused by the feline pandacopenia virus of the genus Protoparvovirus in the family Parvoviridae. It is a non-envelope, single-stranded DNA virus. It causes disease in all members of the family Philidae and some members of related families, Viveridae, Procyonidae, and Mustelidae. Some because only a few suffer from clinical disease, such as the raccoon, mink, and coatimundi. It does not harm canids, although on the flip side, some canine parvovirus strains can cause a panleukopenia-like illness in cats. Transmission Feline panleukopenia is very contagious and is acquired oronasally from 1. Infected animals, where the virus is shed primarily through their feces, but may also be present in other bodily secretions, and 2. Contaminated fomites. Being a non-envelope virus, feline panleukopenia is very stable in the environment. Pathogenesis. After entry into the oropharynx, the feline panleukopenia virus initially replicates in the pharyngeal lymphoid tissue. Later on, viremia occurs and it distributes into the other organs. Feline panleukopenia virus, like most members of the family Parvoviridae, like to infect actively dividing cells. These are cells in the S phase of the cell cycle, and of course have the appropriate viral receptor. These cells get infected are prevented from entering mitosis, and eventually killed. Moreover, there may be indirect effects on uninfected cells caused by the release of virus-induced cytokines. Uninfected cells with virus particles present on their surface may also make them targets for cytotoxic destruction. All white blood cell elements are destroyed, not only those present in circulation, but also the actively dividing precursors in the lymphoid and hematopoietic organs. This results in the panleukopenia part of feline panleukopenia. Pan meaning all, leuco meaning white, referring to white blood cells, and penia meaning decreased number. Decreased number of all white blood cells. There are also actively dividing cells in the intestines particularly the epithelial cells lining the crypts of Libricon, which are extremely susceptible to infection. These cells function to replenish the epithelial cells in the rest of the intestinal mucosa. Thus, their destruction results in blunted and sometimes fused villi, which will consequently result in malabsorptive diarrhea. At necropsy, if necropsy is to be performed, there may be dilated intestinal loops with thickened and hyperemic walls, and the intestinal serosal surfaces may present with petechiae or ecchymosis. Histologically, one can observe the blunted and fused villi as well as the dilated crypts with slough necrotic epithelial cells. Eosinophilic intranuclear inclusion bodies may also be seen in formalin fixed specimens, although rarely. One may use Bowen's or Zenker's fixative to better visualize these. In pregnant queens, the virus may spread transplacentally, leading to embryonic resorption, fetal mummification, abortion, or stillbirth. In kittens infected during the perinatal period, between the last two weeks of gestation and first two weeks of life, the actively dividing cells in the germinal epithelium of the cerebellum are infected. Normally, the external granular layer of the cerebellum rapidly proliferates and migrates to form the internal granular layer and Purkinje cell layer at this time. Infected kittens develop cerebellar hypoplasia, resulting in incoordination and tremors, which are most noticeable when the kittens start walking at approximately 3 weeks of age. These signs give the condition the name spastic or wobbly cat syndrome. Clinical Findings Feline panleukopenia virus has an incubation period ranging from 2 to 7 days. Most infections are subclinical. Some cats may die suddenly in per-acute cases, or may only develop a fever. Acute cases typically present with fever, depression, and anorexia. Repeated vomiting develops a couple of days after the onset of fever, and later malabsorptive diarrhea, resulting in dehydration. 
In cases of wobbly cat syndrome, the kitten may present with a wide base stance, ataxia, tremors, and sometimes retinal lesions, appearing as gray foci. Mortality is greatest in cats less than 5 months old. Diagnosis is based on compatible clinical signs and vaccination history, or lack thereof. Differential diagnoses include salmonellosis, feline leukemia virus, and feline immunodeficiency virus. Treatment requires aggressive fluid therapy and supportive care. In severely affected cats, we can expect to see extreme dehydration, electrolyte disturbances, hypoglycemia, hypoproteinemia, anemia, and opportunistic secondary bacterial infections. Fluid therapy with a balanced crystalloid solution should be used to address the dehydration and electrolyte disturbances. Parenteral glucose may be given if hypoglycemia is suspected. Fresh frozen plasma may be given to hypoproteinemic patients. And whole blood for the extremely anemic cat. Parenteral antibiotic therapy is indicated for the opportunistic secondary bacterial infections. More so because the patient's WBC count is tanked. Antiemetic therapy may provide some symptomatic relief. Prevention. Vaccination is ideal. Inactivated and modified live virus vaccines are available. Modified live virus vaccines, however, should not be given to cats that are pregnant, immunosuppressed, sick, or less than 4 weeks of age. Always consult your veterinarian to assess whether your pet is fit for vaccination. Environmental disinfection can be done with 6% aqueous sodium hypochlorite, 4% formaldehyde, and 1% glutaraldehyde, with a contact time of 10 minutes at room temperature. To recap, feline panleukopenia virus is a highly contagious viral disease of cats and some related mammals. It does not affect dogs. The virus has a tropism for actively dividing cells, such as leukocyte precursors, intestinal grips, and the developing cerebellum of perinatal kittens. Clinical signs often relate to the infection of these actively dividing cells. Diagnosis is based on clinical signs and history. Treatment involves fluid therapy and supportive care. 